Show sure, YouTube, welcome to this video where I'm gonna show you guys how to make an Afro Deep House song and then in the following video I'll show you guys how to mix and master the same song that we're gonna make on this video. So I'm just going to extract this folder of sample packs that I'm gonna use for the tutorial and then I'm gonna go to files set, um, file settings here and then I will locate the very folder that I just extracted it's on documents and then afro deep tutorial and there you have it it should be on our browser afro deep tutorial so first off i'm gonna take my tempo to 118 118 is reasonable then i'm just gonna load my kick paste my pattern on the playlist and then paste pattern to which is gonna be that long and then i'm just gonna take my kick to the mixer and then add my punchy drums preset that i like using on my kicks and then just put a fruity limiter on the master pass just to cap the song at zero db now i'm gonna start building my my drum kit Let's just add that element. Okay, next let's add a clap. another clip let's make this one an eight step clip then we can give this one a reverb take this one to track two as well to give it a reverb then we can add that sound Can just duplicate that Now let's add something like a shaker, but then we're gonna make it a four step. Now let's add a head, make it four step as well. Now we can play around with our stereo. So since these two elements are occupying the same space, we can pin the other one to the right and then pin the other one to the left. Same as the claps, pin them in different directions so that we can hear them individually. And then I think that will be it for our drum kit. Now we can move on to our, our sounds. Add something that's gonna be our organ to have a nice smooth chord progression. Let's just stick with that for now and then we can change the sounds later if we are still not yet satisfied. I'm gonna go to our minor seventh chord. Just select a nice a nice root note. Okay, let's stick with that one. Okay, 
let's duplicate that. Now we can strum them to make them sound uh, mellow, mellow and smooth. We can just play around with these knobs and then also play around with your velocities to make them um, sound more human. And then just make sure that on your strum function, your ends are preserved over there. The ends aren't really preserved, so let's undo that. Alt plus S. So that should be right at 12 o'clock. Make sure your ends are preserved. Then you can play around with your time knob to alter with the timing of the chords. And then also the velocity. You can play around with it as well to make it sound more human. Think that will be fine. We can take it to mixer, add an EQ. Now we can add another sound from Purity just to back it up. Okay, there we go. You can just copy that and then paste it over there. Transpose it upwards. Let's transpose it downwards. As well. Now the next thing we can do to give it that deeper touch, just add a, a pad. Let me lower down the cutoff frequency. Then add, let's actually add minor. Just stick with that root note. Which is the volume. And then we can add some belly sounds from citrus. Let's stick with that one just to give it some belly sounds. Transpose it upwards. Okay, I think that's fine. We can move on to the next um, element. I think we just need a base now to give the song a direction. I'm not gonna go for log drum this time. I'm gonna choose something different, something that's more deep. So let's load, okay, gravity. I'm gonna use this square envelope. I'm gonna stay guided by my by my ghost nodes over here.
since this is sounding too high, let's transpose it downwards. And then just duplicate it. So you can play around with these knobs to make it more subby. So just to give you that um, low frequency sound. Also, we can take it to the mixer, add an EQ. I think that will be it for a bass line. And then next we can add um, some mellow sounds from our piano as well. Let's check some pianos. Mellow, there we go. that and then we can proceed to our next sound actually let's just duplicate that but then on this one we're gonna use our minor scale okay i think i like that Alt G to ungroup them. Let's give them a bit of um, reverb and a convolver. Let's give them a convolver, decrease the wet, and then also add a parametric EQ to cut off the low frequency. Also give it a, a delay, but not that much of a delay. And then one other thing that we can add is um, a brass from Purity. Let's add a brass, just a harsh sound. Okay, there we go. Duplicate that. Let's add another pass. a lot of notes for this one Now 
now we can just do a bit of arrangement for our song what i'm gonna do here is split this by channel i mean split by pattern and then also split this by by channel I mean you guys can also arrange it whichever way you feel like but I'm just gonna give you some hints on things to consider when arranging a song there we go I'm just gonna duplicate that okay I'm just gonna end there I'm going to make sure that all my elements are turned on and also here on the mixer. What I'm going to do now is mute the kicks and then also maybe the pad. Sorry, not mute, man. I mean mute all the other elements except for these. Now I'm going to automate the volume of this organ that we are using. Create automation clip. There we go. Just there, give it a bit of a riser. Let's go check some risers here on my packs. T pulse, splashes. And there we go. Decrease the volume, then add a splash, and then decrease the volume. Fade stereo, do the same for that one. And then also make a mini break over here. Then maybe introduce the bass line. So that will be it for today's tutorial guys, catch you on my next video where I'll be mixing and mastering the very same song here on FO Studio. Don't forget to leave a like, comment down below, let me know what you guys think about the song and also don't forget to share so that other producers can also see this content.